Hello everyone, welcome to another Thursday edition of Facebook Live at Flying Me Out of World Headquarters. Today we're going to talk about brakes. In particular we're going to talk about speed bleeders. So let's say you go to the track regularly, you autocross regularly, and you're starting to notice that your brake fluid isn't nice and yellow and clear anymore and you want to bleed your brakes. Or hey, maybe you just want to bleed your brakes by yourself. You don't want to go find somebody to help you pump the pedal and do all that in-out, off-on off -on nonsense. That's where the speed bleeder is. <laughs> That's where the speed bleeder comes in. So this little guy looks a heck of a lot like a regular brake bleeder, but inside there's a check valve. So when you press on the brake pedal and the valve is open, it allows fluid to come out but when you let off the brake pedal, the check valve closes so that air can't get back into your system. So the strategy is open the valve, get in the car, and pump away at the brakes. And uh, you'll bleed all the air out of the system and then close, close it and you're done. So as I go along here, um, please feel free to post any questions down in the comment section. Um, if we see them pop up during this Facebook Live event, we'll go ahead and answer them as soon as we can. If we don't get to them, um, we'll check them out after the video is over and answer them as soon as we can. So thanks everybody out there that's already watching. So it's really easy to get one of these in. Let me pull this one out of this Willwood really quick. And we'll do a little bit of a comparison here. So this one is, is specific to a Willwood caliper. So you can see the one that came out. Oh gosh, it looks an awful light like the one that's going to go in. So this particular caliper is a Willwood power light. So you'll notice it actually has four bleeders on it. But when it's in the car, you only use the two that are nearest the top. So the caliper can be mounted on either side of the car. So when you order these guys, you only need one pair per power light caliper. The four piston Dynapros are the same thing. Um, they'll have four bleeders on them, but you'll only need to use two of them. And the Dynapro six piston calipers are left, actually left-right specific, so you'll only need one pair of bleeders for both calipers. So, any questions popping up yet? None yet. Okay. So, in order to do this bleeding procedure, really all you need are a wrench to open the bleeder, some fresh brake fluid and something to catch your brake fluid in. Something like this is really nice to have because when you actually press on the brake pedal um, you can actually see if there are bubbles coming through. It'll let you know that uh, whether or not you know if the bubbles have stopped coming through then obviously you're done. And the only other thing you need to do is monitor your fluid level in your reservoir and uh, make sure uh, you're not going to run out and add fluid or add bubbles the other way through the system. So let's step over to the car here. Um, for this demonstration, we've got uh, Dinosaur Shop Assistant helping us out, since I can't really be going back and forth. Say hello to the people. Uh, say hello to the people. <laughs> so Dinosaur Shop Assistant, you know, he's, his brain is probably about that big, so we need to give him a minute to catch up to the rest of us with our big human brains. So. This car, I don't know if you can squeeze in here and see this, so this car already has speed bleeders on it, so it's ready to go. So let me grab my tool here really quick. So the strategy is, what I like to do is get the tool on there first, then install my rubber line going to my fluid bottle. and then crack open the bleeder and let's see if we can get uh, dinosaur shop assistant to press on the brake pedal for us and there it goes and now when he releases the pedal there he's released the pedal you can see the fluid doesn't go back up so let's press that pedal again dinosaur shop assistant
Okay, a couple more times. So you can see he's actually up there pressing the pedal down, releasing the pedal, and there's no bubbles coming back in because all of the fluid is being forced out. So that's probably good enough for that caliper. So I'm going to go ahead and close the bleeder and Dinosaur Shop Assistant can quit pumping the pedal. So you can see these are the, the stock calipers. Um, so these obviously you just need a pair for the front and a pair for the back. And uh, the bleed procedure is probably a lot of you know on a Miata like this. The furthest from the furthest caliper from the master cylinder gets done first, and that's going to be the driver's side rear. And then move over to the passenger side rear, uh, passenger side front, driver side front, and uh, take it for a spin and see how it feels. So, as we're going along here, let's go ahead and check for any questions that are popping up. None yet. Okay. Well, let's take a, another funny look at dinosaur shop assistant. <laughs> he doesn't say much, but man, he knows how to pump a brake pedal. Alright, so to kind of wrap things up, uh, stock calipers just need one bleeder per caliper. Power light calipers need two per caliper. Same with the four piston Dynapros, um, and one bleeder per caliper for the six pistons. Um, Simple, straightforward, easy to do by yourself, whether you're racing or just want to do it in your garage. And uh, no fuss, no muss. It's the best thing. Clutch. Oh, Clutch right and the other magic part is you can also install one of these on a clutch and bleed the clutch yourself the same way. So that's awesome as well. So if there aren't any questions right now, that pretty much covers all the territory that we've got for the speed bleeders. Um, so, again, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again live next week. If you've got any questions, feel free to call us or send us an email, tech at flyingmiata.com. comes directly to me. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.